first we apply a little bit of flux onto the VGA and we remove the solder ball from the VGA using a solder wick. This is to ensure a smooth and even surface. After that, we clean the BGA with a chemical After cleaning the BGA, we put it onto the holding jig. Okay, make sure it sits properly on the jig. And then we put the stencil onto the holder. Okay. Place the screw to secure the stencil. but do not tighten the screw and then we check the arrow orientation on the holding jig together with the holding stencil and place it on top of the BGA and do alignment of the stencil to the BGA solder ball position after alignment we secure the stencil and the holding jig and the block together okay. double check the position of the stencil again after which we will take out the BGA and apply thin layer of flux evenly put the BGA back to the jig and make sure it sits properly put the stencil back on top before that, we'll check whether there's any excess flux appearing at the bottom of the stencil. After that, pour the solder balls onto the stencils and shake it left, right. Okay, make sure. All the holes are occupied with the solder. Okay. Take out the holding stencil and place it in a slanting position. This is to prevent the excess solder balls from dropping out through the stencil hole. Next we pick up the BGA using a pincer and place it on top of a high temp cloth provided ok 
and we'll put it to the hot plate Okay, hot plate temperature normally preset at 230 degrees Celsius. Put the VGA on top of the heating plate with the high temp cloth until we see the soda melt. We have to ensure that the soda does not cause any bridging during the melting process. Process completed.